In this session, we'll be discussing about important facts related to dinoflagellates. I've already given you so many details about dinoflagellates. We'll talk about some of the facts. One very important fact is dinoflagellate, I've already told you that they are the members of pyrophyta and phyta is algae, pyro it's fire. They are called fire algae because they emit light. And the time they emit light, they are having the ability to show bioluminescence. Bioluminescence means some biological agents, those emit light, they flourish, they give you the color. So they can, what you call in the sea, they can flourish and they can give you the color. So they emit light because of that they are called fire algae. Important dinoflagellate, those emit light are noctilica or pyrodenium. I've also told you that dinoflagellates are the main cause of red tides. Now remember this particular thing because uh, you have dinoflagellates coming up in different colors. The red dinoflagellates, they multiply pretty fast. And the time they multiply pretty fast, they become the cause in the sea for red tides. Now I also told you one important thing was red sea. And color of red sea was because of a cyanobacteria which was Trichodesmia miratium. And red tides are because of red dinoflagellates like gymnodinium goniolex. Now remember this particular thing, this has been asked many a times, students remain confused that red tides are because of dinoflagellates and red sea is because of cyanobacteria. We also talk about that there are two red dinoflagellates, they secret these toxins called saxotoxins. The toxins are also called brevitoxins. So gymnodinium and goniolex, goniolex catenella especially, they secret toxins in the sea and these toxins are called sexotoxins and these toxins are engulfed by shellfishes. The time shellfish will engulf this particular toxin, the shellfish won't have any effect, they won't die. But the very time humans consume that particular shellfish, it causes the disease in humans which is very important disease called PSP or paralytic shellfish poisoning. It causes paralysis in human by the disease called PSP. And that even turns out to be the fatal disease in humans. So sexotoxins are released by these red dinoflagellates which will be engulfed by shellfishes and after consumption of shellfishes, the human will suffer from the disease called paralytic shellfish poisoning which can turn out to be the fatal one. So in next session, I'll be detailing you about diatoms.